What's up, Sagittarius? This is your love reading, May 1st through May 15th, 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. Or maybe you're just keeping an eye on a Sagittarius. Whatever. We're going to take a look at the collective love energy, May 1st through the 15th, all right? So, like, share, subscribe, please. If this one doesn't resonate, check out your Venus, Moon, Rising sign. You guys, if you need a private reading, my information's below. You can go right to the website and book. If you're having problems booking, because my website's been, well, a bitch, then please, please send me an email and let me know that you had trouble booking, because I need to know if those are going through or not. It's been acting, well, like the Seven of Swords. All right, so let's take a look. This is for Sagittarius. I already shuffled. I'm going to do a couple more here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sag. Love energy for the collective sign of Sagittarius, May 1st through the 15th. All right, let's check it and do it. We're going to look at your big fat love life. Sagittarius, we are. Here we go. All right, coming in. What do we have coming into the current moment for you guys? We have the emperor, sign of Aries. What's your challenge to that emperor? Judgment in reverse. On your mind, Sagittarius, the king of swords in reverse. What happened in the recent past? Death in reverse, Scorpio energy. We've got three major arcanas already. What's the situation? Why is all this happening? The Knight of Cups in reverse. Coming in, what are you going to experience? The Ace of Cups. All right. How do you see yourself right now, Sag? The star in reverse, Aquarius energy. Outside influences, so in your environment, the energy coming in that you don't see is the two of cups in reverse. In your emotions, what do we got? We got the hermit Virgo energy. Outcome, Sag, queen of cups in reverse. All right, you guys, all right. Let's see, one, two, three, four, Five. Five major arcana. Some big changes beyond your control. Overall energy is the six of wands in reverse. So some of you just kind of feel like maybe you failed a love situation here or you're, you're not getting the attention or the recognition that you want from someone or just love in general with that six of wands in reverse, right? I always like to call the six of wands in the re reverse that energy of, well, I feel like a big fat loser. You're not, Sagittarius, you're really not. But that's kind of the energy. Like, I'm not receiving my accolades. I'm not getting the attention that I deserve. Something like that. I'm just taking a look here. Give me a second. I know y'all are real patient, but... And I can say that because I'm an Aries moon and I know fire, okay? But just give mom here a second. I want to get this right. And I want to see what my good old intuition's telling me. A lot of mixed energy. All right, so coming in right now, we have the emperor. This is all about stability, setting boundaries, control, sign of Aries. Somebody's setting some boundaries or somebody is just very, um, it's all about kind of their way or the highway. Kind of a little bit, it can be controlling. It's nurturing. I mean, it's the emperor. So I like to uh, explain the emperor as like dad. You know, dad's like, come home at 10, not 10.05, 10 o'clock. Love you, wear your seatbelt. It's like that energy. So <clears throat> the emperor can be a husband, father, figure, that kind of thing. So if y'all aren't dealing with a husband or somebody like that, it's just the energy. Somebody is kind of all about stability, setting boundaries, control, that kind of thing. All right, that's coming in, Aries. Now the challenge is judgment in reverse. So somebody may not be learning lessons or giving a second chance. Judgment in reverse is like, I haven't quite risen from the ashes or I'm not allowing something to come to fruition again, judgment day. It's also a lack of a decision, a very important decision. On your mind, Sag, we got the king of swords in reverse. Some of you are dealing with Li uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. King of Swords in reverse is just cut off. Like their emotions are just cut off. You know, the King of Swords in reverse can be mm, kind of nasty with their communication. I get the sense you guys are dealing with somebody that's very kind of their way or the highway. I mean, I'm not going to lie. The King of Swords in reverse can be quite communicatively abusive. I mean, can. Sometimes the kings, when they come out in reverse, they've left. Or, you know, they're, that King of Swords in reverse is just not the best energy, or it's somebody that's just completely gone cold on you or cut you out. 
Because the recent past, we have death in reverse, sign of Scorpio. So holding on to something that's already died. Somebody. Somebody did. Might be you, Sag. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just, you know, I'm telling you the cards and what I'm seeing here. But death in reverse is also a lack of a transformation because somebody isn't allowing a second chance and somebody is really about their way here. I feel a lot of control in this energy. It's all happening because of the Knight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This can be um, jealousy. Maybe somebody went off. And, you know, jealousy, Knight of Cups in reverse. But also, it's just that Knight of Cups, it's a night. So they come, they go, they don't stay long. They're in, they're out, it's flighty, but it's cups. So it's like with their emotions. But in reverse, it's just somebody's not offering their emotions. And it could be this kind of like stubborn, powerful, my way or the highway type energy. But somebody was holding on in the past here to something that had already ended. Now, coming in, what you're going to experience, Sag, in the near future is the Ace of Cups. This can be new love, but it can also be self-love and healing, okay? So we'll have to clarify that and see what's up. You see yourself right now as the star in reverse, sign of Aquarius. We do have that King of Swords in reverse on your mind, too, which could be Aquarius. But in the you now position, you guys have lost hope or faith, in a situation because you've cut off emotion or they have with that knight of cups in reverse you guys just uh, wishes didn't come in as well again with the six of wands in reverse overall energy that's kind of that same energy like i didn't get the attention that i deserved or some type of success you guys see yourself kind of losing hope here not able to manifest this can be a lack of healing as well Outside influences you don't see coming in. So what's the universe bringing the two cups in reverse? I know, I know. Don't get mad. I'm just saying that's, you know, I don't pick the cards. But somebody needs to know. So the outside influences coming in, two of cups. It's a strong connection with that two of cups. But in reverse, not on the same page. It doesn't always have to be a breakup. I mean, it usually is, but it's just two people that can't agree. They're not offering the cup of love. They're not on the same page on, on the emotional level. All right. In your emotions, Sagittarius, you got the hermit sign of Virgo. I think you guys are going within. We're going to clarify and see what the hermit's shining that lantern on. That usually tells us more. But in your emotions, that hermit energy is just taking a minute. It's like going in, trying to get some type of wisdom on a situation, some clarity, can be very spiritual healing energy, but just isolating yourself. Withdraw. There's a lot of healing or trying to heal energy here from somebody that's, I just feel iciness and coldness in this reading. I do. I'm surprised I don't have the chills yet. Um, outcome, we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. If you're a male, Sag, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but they're just not offering you anything or they've left. If not, for others of you with that Queen of Cups in reverse, this is a lack of healing. I mean, that could be your energy too. I feel like you guys are having a hard time here a little bit. The energy's heavy. Thumbs down all you like. I'm just calling it like I see it, all right? Maybe this only resonates for two people out of 10,000. I don't know, but it's for somebody, and that's why I'm here to, to resonate with as many people as possible. All right, let's take a look and see what's up for Sagittarius. This is Love Life. May 1st through the 15th, 2019. What do we want Sagittarius to know? There's a lot of Scorpio energy here. I see Aries, Aquarius, Virgo. I'm just saying for those that care. Sagittarius, what do they need to know about love? May 1st through May 15th, 2019. This deck's been shuffled, so we're going to go ahead and cut her and do her. Here we go. All right, let's see what else we can find out for you guys in love. The first through the 15th for Sag. All right, let's check out your overall energy. This uh, six of wands in reverse. Why is this here for Sag's overall energy? What, what do we need to know, please, about the six of wands in reverse? There you are. Hi, thanks for showing up in your reading. Love you too. Temperance, major for Sagittarius. All right, let's clarify that one more time. So the overall energy, yeah, a lack of victory or success or somebody's not getting the attention they want. It could be y'all feeling that way since you, well, you just clarified yourself with temperance. Why temperance? Why is temperance here? Yeah, lovers in reverse, Gemini energy, you know, a falling out, a breakup, a disunion. There's a, This is a soulmate that a lot of y'all are dealing with, I'm feeling. 
but with temperance, some of you might be trying to reconcile or heal from this energy. With the lovers in reverse, it's just a disunion. It's a, you know, it's people can't come together or there's a breakup, you know, Gemini energy. Why is the death card in the recent past for Sagittarius? What's death about? Scorpio. What's death about in the recent past? Ace of Pentacles. Somebody was still holding on to the idea, you know, that you could get this going again with that Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is let's plant the seed. Let's make it grow into something, you know, that has potential, worth, security, that kind of thing. Somebody was still holding on to that. Why the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse for Sag? Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody couldn't move on. There's a lot of that energy here, whether it's you or the other person. We've got death in reverse, six of swords in reverse. Somebody could not move on. Uh, maybe somebody returned, too. What's the six of swords in reverse for Sag's past? Yeah, five of cups in reverse. For a lot of you guys, somebody returned in the recent past, okay? Uh, for others of you, you're just trying to pick up the pieces. Having a hard time moving on, though, is what I see. Coming in right now, you got the Emperor. What's this Emperor for right now? Coming in for Sagittarius. Emperor energy. What is it? Well, hi. There you are again. You just want to be with me today, don't you, Sagittarius? Sag energy. Leo Sag Aries. Coming in right now. Somebody wants to regain control and stability of the situation and move forward with that. I think it's you guys. That King of Wands. I mean, it's you. King of Wands is all about taking action. You know, he's he or she charismatic. It's like they make things happen. You guys want to make something happen here. But the problem is we have judgment in reverse is the challenge. Why is judgment in reverse the challenge for Sag? What is it? Page of Cups in reverse. See, somebody's just not opening up or not communicating their emotions. Could be a little bit immature. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. On your mind is this King of Swords in reverse. Some of you might be pissed, too. I'm just saying. What's the King of Swords in reverse? Why is this on Sag's mind? What is it? Yeah, Five of Swords. Somebody isn't being very nice to you guys. I'm just going to say it. Cross watchers, I don't really care. I call it like I see it. Five of Swords is somebody's hurting somebody. There's seven. There's pain. You know, somebody's kind of trying to one-up somebody. Some mind games, that kind of thing. Especially on top of that King of Swords in reverse. Not great energy. I'm just saying. Why is the Five of Swords on Sag's mind? Why is it? And then we got the King of Swords in the upright. <sighs> King of Swords, he wants the truth, communication, but also that King of Swords is severing ties. There's a lot of air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, on your mind, Sagittarius. Somebody's cut somebody, and it doesn't feel good. Now, the situation is this Knight of Cups in reverse. Why is this Knight of Cups in reverse the situation for Sagittarius? What is it? Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody got caught. Somebody's not offering their emotion. Either you or the other person. Could be some jealousy going on here too. Why? Because the seven of swords in reverse. Somebody got caught being an asshole, basically. Doing something shady. Something like that. What's the seven of swords in reverse about? Three of swords in reverse. Were they, you know, putting the hand in a cookie jar that they weren't supposed to? With the three of swords in reverse? That is third party energy. Did they get caught? Somebody got caught. I, you know, that's what I'm feeling. Coming in to the near future, though, you got the Ace of Cups. What is this? Why is this coming in for Sagittarius? Which the, what's this Ace of Cups about? Three of Cups. Celebration, dating. I feel like a lot of you do have new love coming in with the Ace of Cups, okay? And the Three of Cups. Three of Cups can just be dating. It can be going out with a group of friends, having a good time, you know, socializing, so that's good. I like to see that because I feel like y'all have been dealing. Somebody came back or some shit like that, but now they're just being cold and icy. Maybe just not real nice. Why the three of cups? Why the three of cups for Sagittarius? Nine of cups in reverse. Emotional dissatisfaction with that nine of cups. You know, lack of a wish fulfillment here. But I do still feel like, you know, you guys are in the healing here. This is healing. So, but you will. Like, you'll go out. You'll date. You'll have a good time, you know, but still you're a little bit, nine of cups in reverse is dissatisfaction. So you'll experience coming in some type of new opportunity in love, going out, having a good time, but it's kind of, you know, when you go through a breakup or somebody's hurt you, you get out there again, but you're still maybe not completely satisfied on an emotional level. That's just what that is. 
Because right now you're the star in reverse, sign of Aquarius. Why does Sag see themselves as the star in reverse? What is it? What is it? Five of Wands. You guys have lost hope or faith because you just can't get along with somebody. You guys aren't on the same page. Five of Wands. You know, it's like bantering inner conflict, but more so in this situation. You guys, again, had some kind of wish or some shit that just has not come to fruition. And it's because people wanted different things. What's the Five of Wands about? Why is this here? You got some inner conflict going on too. Yeah, but then see death in reverse. We saw that in the past. Scorpio energy. You guys are still holding on to something. Sorry, you are. I mean, it's in you, the you now position. You know? Because with that star, that's like seeing somebody as a star. It's like your dream's coming in. You know? It's like everything that you want. But when it's in reverse, it just hasn't come to fruition. So I think for some of you, you're still holding on to that, even though it's ended. So in your environment coming in, what you don't see is the two cups in reverse. Why is this coming in for Sagittarius? What is it? The nine of wands in reverse, just giving up because there's a strong soulmate connection here, but people can't see eye to eye. So with that nine of wands in reverse, it's like, screw it. I'm too tired. I'm not even going to persevere. That's the energy coming towards you. Why the nine of wands in reverse? Why is this here? Queen of pentacles in reverse. Some of you, it's a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. If not, it's just the energy that somebody is a little bit selfish. They're just about themselves, right? Kind of saw that here, too. I mean, not the best energy. Who's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Who is it? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Be careful of this, especially if you're a guy. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of uh, Pentacles in reverse, this is very codependent energy on money, finances, okay? So this person might try to get some cash from you or something like that. I'm just saying, but there's a falling out here. Not good energy. All right, sorry about that. In your emotions is the hermit, so more Virgo. Why is the hermit here in Sag's uh, emotions? Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You guys are going within in your emotions. You're trying to figure some shit out and kind of see, like, the potential, the value. Also, is somebody trying to get money from me with that Page of Pentacles? What's this Page of Pentacles about? Why is Sag's uh, emotions the Page of Pentacles? What is it? Seven of Cups. It's a dreamy kind of feel with the Seven of Cups. Some illusions. There's some illusions around this person. You know, confusion with that Seven of Cups. So that's why you're you're isolating. You go into hermit mode. Now, the outcome has the Queen of Cups in reverse, you guys. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Why is this Queen of Cups in the outcome for Sag? What is it? The Three of Pentacles. See, again, I'm getting this energy of somebody, like, trying to get some money or something from you guys. Also, too, with this Queen of Cups in the outcome, this person might be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces with that Three of Pentacles third-party energy. Why is this Three of Pentacles in the outcome for Sag? What is it? Here she is again, Queen of Cups. I'm telling y'all, somebody's dealing with a water sign here. I got some third-party shit going on. I think somebody was already caught doing this. Why the Queen of Cups? Why the Queen of Cups? Strength card, son of Leo, just giving up. Not having the courage and the strength to deal with this. Somebody fuck somebody over. I'm just saying, you know. And then also, too, you guys, with this is the overall energy. That lover's card in reverse can be cheating, too. I don't always like to go to that third-party shit. I really don't. But if I see it, you know, it's going to resonate with somebody. Why? And then we got the three of swords in reverse here, too. What's this three of swords in reverse why is this Three of Swords in reverse in the foundation? Four of Pentacles in reverse. I also feel like money is a big factor in here too. Somebody's like a gold digger or some shit. Um, why the Four of Pentacles in reverse as the situation? Yeah, see the moon in reverse. Somebody opened up and revealed something, right? Or somebody let go of somebody here and it was revealed. Something came out with that moon energy Pisces. What came out here? What's this moon? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody did not want to be in a commitment or a relationship. Or, you know, there was no stability here because something came to light with that moon in reverse. A breakup, a divorce, something like that. Why will Sagittarius experience the Nine of Cups coming into the near future, though? What's this Nine of Cups about? 
page of swords in reverse. So just cutting, you know, communication off. Also to, yeah, new love, going out, dating is coming into your near future. But I feel, again, with that nine of cups in reverse, careful too. Nine of cups in reverse can be kind of overly self-indulgent, drinking too much, that kind of thing. But just feeling emotionally dissatisfied because of the page of swords in reverse. You know, somebody's not communicating with you. You're not communicating with them. So it's like new energy and then still dealing with this past shit. You know, page of swords in reverse can be somebody's lying too. You know, they're a liar. They're a big fat liar. Why is Sagittarius uh, death in reverse? Six of wands in reverse again. You guys are still holding on to something or a situation or an energy that died because you didn't get any success. You know, you know, you feel, you guys are feeling hard on yourself. Like you failed in some way. You didn't, Sagittarius. You really didn't. You guys take, go out, like do this shit and then continue to heal. But in the outcome, you guys still have this energy. If you're male, it's a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but they're not acting right. They might be after your money or clingy or some shit like that. There's a falling out. And if you're a female, you guys just haven't healed with that Queen of Cups in reverse. You'll get it together, though. I mean, you will. Again, with that Three of Pentacles, it's like I'm getting this energy of Sagittarius went through some shit. And somebody was not nice to Sagittarius. And so now they're just trying to get it together. Get out there. It's kind of the energy of like forcing myself to get out there. Right? And then at the outcome, still trying to heal but still being a little bit pissed here. Just tired and giving up. So that's what I have for you guys. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll talk soon. Take care.